Welcome back to the Crypto Report, everybody. I am Crypto Kip, and today we are going to be talking about the state of the crypto market and giving you guys an update on something that's going on right now. It's meme coins are pumping again, guys. Pepe is currently up 16%. We're going to take a look at the Ben token right now, which is moving up as well, as well as PSYOP, which we've been talking quite a little bit about here on the channel. Uh, if you guys like this content, smash a like, subscribe to the channel. We're doing five videos every single day. Even when the SEC is cracking down on crypto, guys, we will not stop. Let's talk a little bit about all this in this video. By the way, we are giving away $1,000 worth of Bitcoin at 10,000 subscribers. That's coming up like in the next two days probably. So make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't done so already. And let's hop in. Uh, first up, guys, the overall market's up today. Now, just to kind of recap what's going on yesterday... The SEC put out a lawsuit with CZ and Binance. Today, the SEC put out a lawsuit against Coinbase. This is going on again, saying that Coinbase offering securities. Uh, they named a bunch of uh, different coins, Algorand, Cardano, Solana. They named them securities, a lot more Binance token. And then today, the market pumped. I, so we hit a strong bottom for Bitcoin at fifty uh, twenty five thousand two hundred, which was crazy, and then we kind of came right back up, and here we are at twenty six thousand seven hundred dollars. So the market's up today, but the one of the biggest movers right now is Pepe up sixteen percent. If you look at the last twenty four hours, there you go. It is at the top of the charts, guys. I do believe that Pepe token has a chance of being like a Shiba Inu or like a Dogecoin in the future in the next bull market. There's definitely a lot of momentum behind it. And I think there's an argument to be made. I mean, it's currently ranked number uh, 83. I think there's an argument to be made for some of these other tokens that are new, specifically Ben token. BitBoy Crypto, the largest crypto influencer, takes uh, control of this Ben token, is trying to drive crypto adoption, is trying to battle Gary Gensler, really. So we're talking about what's going on in crypto, fear, 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 panic selling on the Gary Gensler thing, and then a bottoms hit, and now the crypto community is just basically giving the middle finger to the SEC and saying, you will not stop us, you will not control us. And the crypto markets are moving up, and I think that Ben Armstrong here has an opportunity to kind of grasp onto this narrative, continue to battle Gary Gensler, raise more crypto awareness, and actually get this token to move places. This market cap's at $32 million. If this gets to a billion-dollar market cap, you have over a 30x potential on your money. I think that's an incredible value proposition, honestly. Drive crypto adoption and get a 30x on your money, potentially, if we can get up into the top uh, you know, really, we need to get into, let's see here, the top 40, I believe it is, if, I, if I'm understanding correctly. Let's see. Billion dollars, billion dollars. Right. Number 41 and 42 are at a billion dollars. So that's really all it takes, guys. And when we're talking about what's coming in the next bull market, I believe trillions of dollars are coming in the next bull market. Now, today, this coin is up about 12%. Uh, so Ben Token's doing all right. And that comes after some of the drama of BitBoy Crypto splitting up with Ben Dotty. Did a video on that yesterday. Overall, I think that's a positive thing for these tokens. And as you can see, I think both tokens potentially, 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 guys, have hit a bottom. Now, if you're not investing in these tokens, uh, you know what? That's okay. These are highly risky plays, guys. If you're thinking about it, you know, tread with caution, guys. These are very risky, low-cap plays. All these low-cap coins like this are very risky and a lot of people don't like them, uh, but also, you know, I kind of look at it and I say, you know, um, bad news is good news, right? Any kind of attention in the media is typically bullish for whatever that thing is, right? There's going to be extreme haters and extreme lovers, which means it's going to be talked about more, which means there's going to be more research, which means there's going to be more interest, whether that's hate or love. And I think that's what we're kind of seeing with PSYOP, with Ben, and with Pepe, to be honest with you, because there's a lot of people out there that just hate meme coins. A perfect example is uh, Ben Benjamin Cohen. He's a fantastic technical analysis for crypto. Loves Bitcoin, loves Ethereum. I think he absolutely hates meme coins. You've seen him on Twitter probably going crazy on it if you follow him, but there's a lot of big influences out there that think that way. I'm in these tokens, and so I'm going to continue to give updates. I think these are, are a big conversation. Loyal token is another one that was launched by Ben.eth. This was supposed to be a project taken on my BitBoy, but now... They split ways, and this project is still trying to find its bottom. So the only two tokens that Ben Hadith created 
that are going up right now are Ben Token and Psyop. We'll see if they can continue those momentum. But uh, Pepe is moving up today. And the biggest moving coin right now on Dexed Tools is SEC. Do not buy this token, guys. This is financial advice. I can't say anything about this token. This is... Um, I mean, look at what the name of this thing is, but don't go to Dex Tools and just look at the top gainer and uh, buy the top gainers. These could likely be pump and dumps, guys. Now, these tokens, the hot pairs, um, some of them are legitimate. Pepe seems to be legitimate enough. Uh, ApeCoin is more legitimate, right? That's a token we've known about for a while. Uh, but notice how there are fake Pepes, right? So this is a fake Pepe, potentially, or this, you know, I don't even know which one's the fake. So you got to be careful, guys. How do you be careful? Well, when you go and you look at a token, what you got to do is you got to go over to Twitter. So let me show you guys that really quick. You go to Twitter and we can look at like Pepe, Pepe Coin F. This is the Pepe Coin account. Well, how do you find where the real Pepe is? All you got to do is go through the socials and you can see. And here you go. This will take you straight to the Uniswap app. Here's the contract. What I really like to do is take the contract and make sure that I check it on uh, Etherscan. So I go over to Etherscan. And this is just um, some basic Crypto 101 that I want to share with you guys. You can paste the address in there, click on it, and boom, now you're looking at the Pepe token. Here it is. You can see all the transactions on it. You can even see like some of the wallets and the holders. A lot of really great information on here, but this is a really great way to see that. And then also another great way to go about this, guys, is if you just go to like the website for these tokens, you can you can see through the website and ignore the warning and continue through. Oh, wow. Twitter's really trying to protect me. Uh, anyway, this is the official Pepe. So you can go through the Twitter and uh, you can go to the website and you can find the contract address for that there. Um, but I just thought it was funny. Um, the, the SEC token's pumping right now. It's it's a joke. It's probably a scam, guys. Don't buy that token. Meme coins are going wild. Crypto's rebounding, and memes aren't dead yet. Uh, are you? And by the way, some of these aren't even memes. Loyal's not a meme. Uh, there's a product behind it. Psyop is allegedly not a meme. We still don't have a product necessarily behind uh, the psyop.org. So yeah, they do have a meme coin launch pad. There is a product behind that. And Bencoin has utility because BitBoy Crypto says he's going to be driving crypto adoption. Let's see how it plays out. Let's see if these pump abilities can continue on these tokens uh, here in the short to midterm um, or even in long term. Let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are, guys. That's all I got in this one. I'm Crypto Kip. This is the Crypto Report. Smash the like, subscribe to the channel. And as always, DCA HODL, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. Two videos for you here if you want to check them out. Peace.